Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man Vinny and we are deep in the field. So grab your cleats and strap up. All right, so this 2022 NFL season is shaping up to be an interesting one. You got multiple new faces and new places. And additionally, we also got some new unis and shells that are making their way to the professional gridiron. And yes, I do mean helmets when I say shells. Now, this is a beautiful thing because I love how the NCAA has such a diverse portfolio of helmets and uniform combinations. So to finally get a taste of this in the NFL is great. It keeps things fresh on the eyes week to week and urges fans to purchase different variations of their favorite team's memorabilia. And apparently this is the beginning of something significant because teams have already started hinting at their alternate uniforms for the 2023 season. And best believe your man Vinny loves it. I can't wait. But without further ado, let's check out these new headpieces and see where I rank them from worst to best. Let's get it. All right, so getting right into it, we have the Chicago Bears who unveiled an orange base helmet with the navy face mask. Now, some pictures of these look like they might have a matte finish and others look like they got the gloss finish. So someone let me know which one it is. And y'all probably gonna hate me for this Chicago fans, but I'm sorry. These, just not it. I appreciate them taking a stab at the alternate helmet route since this is the first time in Chicago Bear history they've gone with anything other than the Navy base. But honestly, these look like a cheap, fan-made concept that was just thrown together at the last minute. You know how the Little League team sort of mock NFL franchises, but they remix the colorway a little bit? This is that. They basically wrote their name down on the test to avoid an F-, minus, but it's still an F in my book. <sighs> Anyways, it's confirmed that they'll be wearing these hideous things twice this season. Once on Thursday night against the Washington Commanders, and again on a Halloween night matchup with the Cowboys. And it serves them right. These things deserve to be on Halloween. <laughs> Next up, we have the Washington Commanders, who will be donning their new all-black alternate helmets a couple of times throughout the season. And, you know, this is... They, they actually got two helmet, but again, for the sake of this video, we're only going to focus on the alternate helmets of this season. Now, my take on these is it's a very minimal design. In fact, the entire rollout of Washington's rebranding has been very minimal, to say the least. And that's coming from a true hard, true diehard fan. But I digress. These helmets are very plain. They look like they're missing something. Like, I don't know. Maybe they could have used a yellow stripe going down the middle. But instead of a stripe, they went with an awkwardly placed W, which just looks like it was put there by mistake. And as for the numbers on the side, I don't get why that is even there. I, that's never has that, that feature has never been on any Washington team besides the football team. I don't know. Maybe they like that, you know. Not to mention half their roster is from Alabama. So maybe they wanted all of those Alabama Crimson Tide players to feel right at home. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks very amateurish. Like no original thought was put into it. And they didn't execute on anything to put you in the mind frame of the commanders. Where's a logo? Where's a commander decal? Give me a ship. Give me a general looking warthog. Give me something, Washington. But instead, we get this. And it's just very boring. It's very plain. And for that, the helmet commands the second to worst spot on my list. How about those cowboys? Who decided to bring back the retro white base helmets that they used to wear on occasion in the mid-2000s. This is going back to the Tony Romo days, the Tara Owens, the Marion Barber, who may he rest in peace. They have been rumored to bring these bad boys out, no pun intended, for their annual Thanksgiving game when they host the division rival, New York Giants. Now, I am a little biased since I don't care for anything the Cowboys do. 
you know, with me being a Washington fan and all. But aside from that, these uniforms don't have much of a great track record. In fact, I actually like when they wore these uniforms. Now, some of you all might remember the Monday Night Miracle back in 2005. Or if you didn't, just Google it. That's when Santana Mall single-handedly beat them with two touchdown throws from no other than Mark Brunel. Oh, yeah, that was a beautiful night. Oh, how about the RG3 2012 Thanksgiving special where he tossed four touchdowns to beat them in that magical year? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those were great times. But all right, that's enough of my Washington Dallas nostalgia. But outside of that, you know, these these uniforms basically have a terrible history behind them. They are, shall I say it, a little bland. A little played out. Maybe they should have went with a little something more risque. Could y'all have thrown like a blue base helmet or, you know, did something with the star. Like, you know, magnified the decal. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Maybe nothing would have made me happy with this team. Because then again, they are the Cowboys. But staying in the NFC East, we'll turn our focus to the Philadelphia Eagles, who revealed an all-new blacked-out look with the classic wings. Now, a lot of fans were disappointed that they didn't go with the Kelly Green helmets. And even I, you know, they're a division rival to the Washington, but hey, I got to keep it a buck with y'all. Those Kelly Green helmets is very clean. But unfortunately, they confirmed that they won't be bringing those back until 2023. So, Philly fans... And myself included We'll have to wait one more year on those Now don't get me wrong I think these helmets are pretty cool I like the metallic looking glitter that you see When you get that close up look on the helmet But the reason why I'm ranking these at 10 Is because from certain angles You can't even really tell the difference Between these and their current green helmets Because it's not like their current green helmets are uh, uh, It's not like it's a light green It's more of a It's it's more on on the darker side So I don't know But not to mention it seems they're just forcing the all black look When their trademark Trademark Yep I'm creating words When their trademark has always been Green For the entire life of their franchise So Maybe I'm wrong Maybe I'm not Now that I kind of think about it they did have those ugly blue and yellow Michigan Wolverine looking helmets back in the day, but I digress. Yo, coming in at number nine, we got the Cincinnati Bengals who recently unveiled their new whiteout helmets with the standard stripes we usually see on the orange. I'm going to tell y'all now, when they released the images of these joints, I, I I guarantee you, I wanted to like these so much. But I'd be lying if I said my initial thought wasn't, who this? Who they? Because instead of the bangles, these helmets look like they rebranded their franchise to the Cincinnati Zebras. And I just can't unsee it. I'm sorry. Now, hopefully when they actually wear these, depending on the uniform that they coordinate them with, and Lord knows, I pray it's not in all the all-white uniforms. But depending on the uniform coordination, I might change my mind. You know, if that white helmet pops out with like a black jersey or something, and you know, you start seeing the players being able to coordinate that thing with their accessories. I might change my mind and it might make me think of like the white tigers, you know what I'm saying? But that you see in the snow. But right now, man, I'm seeing nothing but zebra from this alternate show. And it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Sorry, Cincinnati. But y'all are on the lower tier on this list. Be happy I didn't put you at the very bottom. Or second to worst, you feel me? But y'all also not in that top tier when it comes to new helmets for 2022. Next, we take a trip to Gotham and focus on the New York football giants. Now, they, like many others on this list, decided to go with the retro look from the 1980s and the 90s. So it's going to put you in that mind frame of Lawrence Taylor 
and Phil Simms, who led them to those Super Bowls. And I got to say, these aren't bad. I don't necessarily love them, but I don't hate them either. They are classic. And we did get a variation of these recently with their color rush uniforms a few years back. And I think that's probably why I'm not ranking these two highs. Like, we already got them, so is it really a new helmet? You know, so I think that's kind of like a cheat. But anyway, you know, I think these are a great change up from that trademark NY that they've been donning for some time now. Basically, uh, since 2021 with, you know, what was his name? Kerry Collins and all those boys over there. And it works. You know, I do like the contrast with the light colored jerseys, which are hard in my opinion. Those jerseys that they got to match up with these are very clean. And the uniform all around, which gets them in my A spot on this list. Now, it's saying that, you know, we can expect to see them wear this uniform combination at least twice this season. So, Giants fans who remember those glory days in the 90s should be excited. But then again, the Giants haven't given their fans much to smile about these last few years. And I can't lie and say that I don't love it. So, question is, will these throwback helmets spark a change? To be continued. At seven, we have yet another retro look with the New England Patriots deciding to bring back the white base helmet with the red and blue stripes and the center pack decal. Now, I am 50 50 when it comes to teams going back with the retro look uh i think that it's a no-brainer i think that you know it's a very safe option and to be honest with you if it's one of those helmets that just fans and uh football people you know football aficionados can just appreciate then why wouldn't you bring it back and you know and this is one of those options and that's why i said number seven for me um i remember tom brady and those boys wearing these during the mid to late 2000s y'all remember when the afc teams were commemorating the afl days and you started having like you know the titans playing with the oilers and um the denver broncos were wearing those pinstripe yellow and brown socks it was around that era and in my opinion they've always been a clean simple option and i for one like these helmets more than those dreaded plain silver helmets that i personally can't stand but that might just be me but take the history of these helmets paired with the coordination with the red jerseys which i absolutely love and you can't go wrong even if we have seen them on many occasions but i tell you this though Bill Belichick, better hope Mac Jones can recreate the same magic that Tom did when they wore these. Because if I'm not mistaken, I believe that they even had these when Tom Brady was doing his thing. Throwing bombs to Randy Moss, leading them to a Super Bowl where they would eventually lose to the Giants. But hey, at least they got to the big dance. So Bill Belichick better hope that Mac Jones can re recreate that. Because if not, Bill Belichick will be a throwback into the pool of coaches available for hire because it seems like he's about to be on the hot seat maybe i'm wrong maybe y'all gonna disagree with me but i don't know man i think the jig is up on bill belichick i think that we're beginning to see that maybe it really wasn't him that was so elite maybe it was tom and now he's kind of being outed y'all tell me what y'all think now Halfway through this list, and we move on to the Houston Texans, who revealed their battle red helmets, which I must say look good. And yes, I got to add the T for the good. They went with a modern and chrome looking finish. Very much different than their standard Navy based helmets, which I feel have overstayed their welcome. I mean, let's face it, this edition was what? 21 years too late and i'm happy the texans have finally decided to bring some life to their rather dull franchise with this new look i mean come on it's not like they've got much else to be excited for nowadays losing deshaun watson 
also having that case that was paired with him, but I'm not even going to get into that. Losing and then just basically losing all of your star players. You know, JJ Watt left a year ago. Deshaun Watson's gone. Uh, you know, the offense is just discovered that their rookie is going to be out for the season with, you know, he's been diagnosed with leukemia. So, hey, man, the Texans, they need something, man. So I'm glad that they did come out with these helmets. Uh, now, although they haven't confirmed how many times they will wear them, I got to say, these red helmets will be pit that they'll be wearing with their red jerseys. I think it's going to be a nice touch. I think it's going to be a very, very nice touch. Now, honestly, I would have put them higher on this list, but that just goes to show how many other teams just, may I say, mastered this uh, alternate helmet change for the 2022 season. And they're just slightly better, slightly better designs. Other than that, you know, I would have put them higher. But uh, personally, you know, me, if I just wanted to be picky looking at these, I could say I wish they added the red chrome finish to the face mask. I think though that would have been real hard. I think that would have been different. We really don't have that in the NFL. You see it a lot in college and who knows, maybe that's why they didn't go with it. So to stray away from that college look. But again, like I said, that's just me being picky at this point. So, nice, clean-looking helmet. All right. Getting into the top five. Top five, top five. We alive. Hey, all right, all right. Getting into the top five, I'm going to turn the focus to the Carolina Panthers, who will be sporting an all-black helmet with a matte finish and teal accents. Woo! I've been waiting for these. It's almost like Carolina Panthers started looking at a lot of fan-made concepts, which people have been doing this for years. But it's like they finally said, you know what? We going with this all black. And I'm so glad they did. I'm so glad they didn't like try to do like the Carolina blue base helmet. Uh, the silver helmets are cool, but let's be honest. I mean, those have been there since the birth of that franchise and that franchise is not even that old I, I will put it up there with the houston texans you know um what i believe they came 1997 96 at the, at the earliest y'all let me know if i'm you know got my dates mixed up but yeah what can i say these are just clean bro it fits their brand to a t you know with the panther and all of that and the colors are just distributed nicely on this helmet. Now, when I look at the Panther decal, I'm glad that even though they kept everything black, it's not like the decal itself gets washed out by the black. And those teal accents, I'm gonna say it again, those teal accents just make this helmet pop. It's a no brainer that they did it like this. And I'm so glad that they're also going to be pairing these black helmets with their black uniforms, which is just music to my ears and eye candy for my eyes because they've had the black uniforms for a few years now, if I'm not mistaken. And me personally, I hate seeing those uniforms paired with those silver helmets it just looks a little kitty to me um no disrespect but it just looks like it's being forced now with these uh, i don't know how many times they're going to be wearing these for the season but hopefully you know we get a we get a few wears out of these because these are these are dope these are pretty dope and hopefully this will turn their franchise around give them some newness give them some spark because we haven't seen them do anything of relevance since the old riverboat Ron and superman cam days which seems like that was decades ago but moving on soaring high at number four i gotta go with the atlanta falcons who chose to bring back the retro helmets from back in the day yes back in the day now, these have been reused multiple times in the late 2000s and that 2010 era with Matty Ice and Julio Jones. But they still go hard as hell, in my opinion. And to be honest with you, I think these are even better because I don't 
believe i could be wrong but i don't believe the red helmets from that time period had this that added gold stripe that they put on this design and that was from the original design when they had the red helmets from back in the day you know and that gold stripe is to honor georgia tech i'm gonna just say bruh i love these man i love the gloss finish and to top it off they're gonna be pairing these up with the black jerseys so that uniform is just gonna pop man they're gonna have the black jerseys which has the white numbers and the red trim on the outside and i think they're gonna do either the uh gray pants or the white pants hey if you playing for the Atlanta Falcons right now and y'all bring these out, boy, you feeling drippy. You feeling nice. Nice. And imagine what you could do with the accessories. Like, man, if I was a player, Mary, I could, I could see myself now. I'll be having the red with the, the red gloves or black gloves with some gold accents to that thing. <laughs> you know, hey, I used to be very fresh in the field. I'm going to tell y'all that now. But I just love the way that this helmet is going to complement their black jerseys. And... Yeah, very like these colors just complement each other like two people in love. Not only do you get the historic look, but you get the subtle representation of the state of Georgia and just an overall clean ass design. They might be the dirty birds, but these helmets looking very clean. Flying in hot for the third spot is the New York Jets. J E T S J J J J J J Jets, who seem to change their look every free, <laughs> who seem to change their look every few seasons in recent years. This time, they went with the black mat helmets with the green decal and the green face mask, and I gotta say, these are doper than dope. I mean. Just looking at these makes me want to suit up and go play for the game green. And when you can do that with the casual fans or people who, you know, have a football background, you know you're doing something right. You, When, when someone can look at a, a uniform and just be like, damn, I wish I could have had an opportunity to play in that thing just once. You know, you hit your mark. You know, the chrome face mask just looks very new the helmet itself just has this big vibe of newness and i'm here for it it's excellent you can tell whoever designed these took their time and enjoyed themselves in the process and that's what you want to see as well you don't want to see somebody who just like kind of just slap something together or you know they appear to be those kids who were you know project due date came up and they was just like you know what bro we got to turn something in and that's what a lot of those helmets look like in the beginning of this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, like again, I'm just going to keep on harping on that commander shit. That commander helmet is just so lackluster. The Chicago Bears lackluster. But these, man, these, this is something that can possibly turn your franchise around. Because it's just giving players that essence of just feeling more clean. And you know the saying, Deion Sanders. You look good, you feel good, feel good, play good, you play good, you get paid good, get paid good, well, hey, that's going to build up the confidence and that's going to build up everything and that's what I see, you know what I'm saying, that's what I see with this, uh, this helmet option. So you take that combined with the distribution of all the colors and this makes this helmet uh, deserving of the top three spot on this list now if only zach wilson could just lead them to a top three finish in the afc east they might be on to something but we'll see Woo! coming in in those last two spots here let's shift our attention to the new orleans saints who in my opinion have the most fun looking helmet of every team on this list I absolutely love what the Saints did in giving us a taste of the 1969 variation they wore in the preseason that year. We get the gloss look on top, matte finish on the bottom, which kind of reminds me of the Seahawks helmet, but these blow those out of the water by a long shot. By a long shot. 
I love the mini logos running along the stripe. And I love the feel of these. Like, the moment that I saw pictures of these, I immediately thought that I was getting on a plane, going to New Orleans, and getting ready to celebrate Mardi Gras. Because I get huge Mardi Gras vibes when looking at these. I mean, I can go on. The creativity, the fun element, and how well these represent the city of New Orleans. Like I said, I can go on. If any team on this list were to get a trophy for being the most representative of their city, the New Orleans Saints would be getting the honors, hands down. And that's the reason why I'm putting them in number two. Who that? Who that? Who that said they're going to beat them Saints? Only on one team on this list. And that team. Reigning supreme at the number one spot for this year's new helmet ranking. I have to go with the Arizona Cardinals. Bruh. Bruh. When I say these joints is tough, I do mean they is tough. Tough. And yes, I'm spelling that with a T U F F. They did the black helmets with hints of red metallic undertone that pops out at you when the light hits from certain angles. Oh my god. Like, for real. It's like if the Jets and the Saints, who are in my top three on this list, if they understood the assignment. The Cardinals exceeded that motherfucker. You get two looks in one based on the time of day that you're looking at them. Like, honestly, if it's one o'clock, sun beaming down on the field, you're going to see that hint of red just splashing all over the helmet. If you're getting them in the University of Phoenix Stadium and it's like four, four o'clock or, uh, you know, four o'clock on the east and one o'clock out here on the west then you know if that dome is closed then you're gonna see that black and you'll just see like the hints of red when you get close up on it but my god bro my lord lord of lord of jesus <sighs> these are polished and just hella new looking look at the decal the decal looks bigger much more prominent and when it's all said and done this option is just reflective of what you think when it comes to a uniform choice being top tier and upper echelon it's gonna go perfect whether they wear this with the blue whether they wear it with the red i can even see them wearing this with the right with the white uniforms and that's what you want out of a helmet option you want to diversify you want so much so many options and range on what you can match this up with and this this is just perfect to be honest with you man i i, I pray that they uh wear these a lot more than just once or twice like i really hope that they damn near split the season with these because there's nothing wrong with the white ones you know what i'm saying i even like their uh their color rush helmets back in the day when the the uh logo for the cardinal was just a little bit like shiny and they had the shiny face mask they 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 have a very good uh design team over there in arizona and you know i like it and hey with kyler murray finally getting his extension and the cardinals sporting these beautiful beautiful let me say it three times beautiful helmets arizona fans have a lot to be happy and excited for hell I'm happy and excited to see these helmets in action. And again, I'm hoping it's not for a measly one or two games. That'll piss me off. Because these are just too beautiful, man. You don't hide these. Something this beautiful needs to be presented as many chances as they can garner. Because I'm definitely here for it. And that's why they here to stay at the number one spot on this list. And there you have it, folks. My list for the 2022 NFL alternate helmets ranked from worst to best. 
like I said, this is going to be a very interesting year. And I plan on being a very busy man dropping videos like these, training camp news, and highlights. Madden updates for you gamers out there. And steady news from the ground around the league once the official season kicks off. Thank y'all for watching to the end. If y'all enjoyed this, show me some love and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and click that notification bell so you never miss a drop. Now again, this was my list. Some of y'all might agree with me. Some of y'all gonna disagree. I'm here for it all. So leave your thoughts in the comments on what you thought. If you felt like, you know, I should have swapped things out or, you know, if you have a different number one. Hey, don't hesitate. Talk to me. I talk back. And stay tuned for my free agent analysis and prediction video where I predict who will ball out for their new teams this season and who will be a dud. I can give y'all a hint. I don't really believe in Carson Wentz. Oh, let me uh, chill out. You know what I'm saying? That's my team. Let me show some love. <laughs> but on the real, I'll upload that real soon. Remember, my name is Vinny. We've been deep in the field. And it's been real. See y'all soon.